You've got $200 to spend on a website. So what are your options? Let's start with the most popular, most well-known options. Let's talk about Wix. The most basic bare bones Wix plan will cost you about $16 a month. So before taxes, that ends up being just under $200 a year. Unfortunately, the feature set for these plans is very limited and most business owners are going to need a business plan, which starts at $26 a month. This means that your $200 budget is gone at about the seven month mark. However, you will get many features that you will need to sell online, things like reoccurring payments, a domain name for a year, customer accounts, unlimited products, and selling on social media platforms. However, there are also some features that you're definitely going to miss, things like the ability to get subscribers, dealing with multiple currencies, an automated sales tax, and selling on a marketplace. Also keep in mind that Wix charges a standard processing fee of 2.9% plus 30 cents of the sale for credit card payments. This can add up quickly for small business owners. Okay, so let's jump into another popular option. Let's talk about Squarespace. To get a similar plan like the one described above with Wix, it would cost you $23 a month with Squarespace, which means you're running out of budget at the eight month mark. Some noticeable differences between the Wix and the Squarespace plan include um, getting a professional email with the Squarespace plan, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, it lacks the abandoned cart recovery option. So that means when a customer comes into your website and they put a bunch of items in the cart, once they leave their website uh, and come back, they will no longer have those items in their cart, which means you could potentially lose out on some sales. And lastly, they charge a flat 3% transaction fee, uh, which is a little bit different than the 2.9% and 30 cents that Wix charges. Keep in mind that both services still require you to create the website. So that means one of two things, either you hire someone for 20 to hundred dollars an hour to build out the website, which will eat into your $200 budget really quickly, or you invest the time yourself to learn these platforms. And that can be you know, dozens of hours depending on how tech savvy you are. This is why unfortunately, four out of five small business owners never finish their DIY website. Okay, let's jump into another popular option, which is WordPress. This is easily the cheapest option on the market, but it does come at a price and that price is time. The biggest expense here is the domain, which you have to get through a third party website like HostGator, or GoDaddy and the first year for these um, domains is anywhere between 10 and $30 uh, per year and then it jumps up gradually in the following years. One massive benefit of these open source e-commerce platforms is they actually do not have any transaction fees. So that's a massive plus to WordPress compared to you know Squarespace or Wix. Okay, so here's the bad news, unfortunately. Building a WordPress website is no small feat. It is a time consuming process or you have to hire a designer, which can be anywhere from a hundred to thousands of dollars. Another thing to keep in mind is that anytime you need to make changes to your website, if you are not tech savvy, if you did not build out your website and you don't really understand how to make changes, you will need to hire another designer or someone to constantly make updates to your website. It's really difficult to say what $200 gets you with this option because it will greatly depend on the time you invest and your level of expertise when it comes to website design. But this is a very expensive option in terms of your time, not necessarily in terms of your budget. Okay, so let's now jump into another very popular option. This is for e-commerce and selling products. It is Shopify. So their plans start at $29 a month, which means you'll run out of budget at around the six month mark. The transaction fees are 2.9% plus 30 cents USD for online sales and 2.7% for in-person sales. Now there are plans that offer lower transaction fees. Unfortunately, these plans start at $75 a month, meaning you'll be out of budget within two months. However, if you're doing a massive volume and you'd like to save per uh, item sold or per transaction, these are definitely a better option than the $29 plan. So if you're only looking to sell a product, Shopify is a decent option. Keep in mind that your Shopify website doesn't have anything else besides a product page. So this might be ideal for some businesses, but not all of them. The biggest advantage and disadvantage of Shopify is that you have access to their clientele, to their platform, so you can constantly get new customers and get new sales. Unfortunately, this also means there are hundreds of other vendors that are being promoted right next to you. So you're constantly in competition with hundreds of others. All right, last but not least, you and I, we actually build your website for you for a flat fee of $1.99 and we have that website ready for you within seven days. There are a bunch of perks to this plan. I've made countless videos, check out this channel, 
browse the description if you want to learn more about you and I, but some of the biggest perks are that there's no fees for online sales. So there's no transaction fees of any kind when you're selling your products online. You get a fully functional, beautiful website with the freedom to modify your shop whenever you want. You have access to our easy to use editor from any device at any time. So you can make changes on the fly whenever you want. And there's so many more different cool features that I've talked about in other videos. So I don't want to go too much into detail with that. If you're interested, obviously check those out. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you're going to be spending your $200 on, which platform is best suited for you. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you next time. Peace.